We begin with a breaking news update on a global IT outage crippling computer systems around the world. It all stemmed from a system update by the tech company CrowdStrike. Many of you may have woken up to this blue screen on some of your laptops. It forced thousands of planes to a ground stop, creating massive lines and delays at train stations as well. We have coverage from O'Hare and the University of Chicago Medical Center. We begin with our Marissa Perlman. Jim Marie, good morning to you. Yeah, airlines, banks, and now we're talking about hospital systems. We just spoke with a patient here who says she hasn't been seen. She's been here since late last night trying to see her doctor. A lot of patients here have been delayed because of this system-wide outage. Now, we did receive a statement from U Chicago Medicine about how they have been impacted directly by this. They tell us their most critical clinical and operational systems are now back online. We've also heard from a source who works at Christ Hospital. They've been working with paper charts overnight into the morning hours. As of now, staff are still seeing patients and surgeries there are still on. Now, this error message is popping up on computers and airport screens around the world, even our own newsroom. It's being cheekily called the blue screen of death. Here's what happened. The outage appears to come at least partly from a software update for Microsoft Windows operating system issued by that company you mentioned, CrowdStrike. This is a widely used cybersecurity firm. The CEO of that company says the IT issue causing the outage has been identified. In a statement, the company CEO says in part, the issue stems from a defect found in a single content update for Windows hosts and a fix has now been deployed. He goes on to say this is not because of a cybersecurity incident at all or attack. Microsoft says it's taking mitigation actions after service issues, and they also anticipate a resolution forthcoming. Now, if you have Microsoft either at your place of work or at your home and the virus scanning program CrowdStrike, you would be impacted if your computers were on during the update. If your computers were not on, then you wouldn't have gotten the bad update. Now, it's not easy exactly to say what to do next in this situation. While there is a workaround, according to cybersecurity experts, it's not really scalable as it would need to be applied manually, system by system. And in big companies and big hospital systems, this would mean it could take hours to get back up and running. So we've talked to airlines, hospitals, businesses. We also know the DMV could be impacted by this. They are now asking if you need to make an appointment, do call them first. There's a number there on your screen uh, to make an appointment if you need to head to the DMV today. Again, we're live at U Chicago Medicine. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS News, Chicago. Marissa, thank you. Our Mugo Odigwe is live for us at O'Hare right now with a look at the situation there. Mugo? Yeah, good morning to you, Marie. So we are at United's Terminal 1 right now, and after many hours filled with delay after delay and then some cancellations, it does seem like things are getting back to normal. And the one sign that shows that are those boards that show you your departure or arrivals. Earlier this morning, it was just a blue screen. Now, some of them, not all, but some of them are now showing the needed information about your gate and what time your flight is heading out. But we have reached out to United, and we're waiting for them to confirm for us what we're seeing here at the airport. But as you can imagine, though, it has been a very, very busy and, and just unfortunate day for a lot of people who were traveling out this morning as planes were held at their depart departure airports because of the outage affecting United's computer systems. A spokesperson for the airline told us people should expect scheduled disruptions throughout the day today, but they are offering waivers to customers who wish to change their travel plans. We also reached out to American Airlines this morning. They tell us a technical issue with a vendor did affect them, but they were able to reestablish their operations around 6 this morning. Many travelers, though, felt the impact of the outage. We spoke to one family visiting the U.S. from France. They are in Chicago, and then they were heading to Washington, D.C. today for a few days before then going back home to France. But now that flight to D.C., well, it has been canceled entirely. We're not even uh, sure to get on the next flight because uh, we have uh, company tickets, so we're on standby. So we're just waiting. <laughs>
Now, one of our producers at CBS News Chicago, she had a flight this morning heading to New York City. She got here around 6 in the morning, and she was delayed. 30 minutes here and there, 35 minutes the other hour, and finally, just after 10 this morning, she finally got to board her flight. So again, it's been a hectic day. It's been busy. It's been uncertain for so many people. For those who are heading to the airport right now, the one thing I'll say is make sure you check your, your um, flights, your airlines app. Make sure you're checking to see if it says your flight's delayed, canceled, or if it's on time, because you just never know. Things are still uncertain right now. We're live at O'Hare, Mugo Odigwe, CBS News, Chicago. Great advice. Thank you so much, Mugo. Now to the worldwide impact. The outage left travelers standing in very long lines lines at airports across India. This was a scene at the New Delhi airport. Digital check in procedures there are still offline and airlines are using the old slow process of making boarding passes by hand. Back in the States, we want to show you the backup of semis at the port in Los Angeles. Dozens of them waiting hours to get access to loading docks that were impacted by the issue. It out the outage highlights the world's dependence on software from truly a limited number of providers.